Hey guys, wanted to talk about um, bead size and kind of like wanted to make you think about um, matching the hatch. So, you know, we have, you know, from, you know, coho and chinook spawning where the eggs swell up and, you know, they turn all the different, uh, you know, oranges to light oranges to uh, orange white, you know, white on half side, you know, kind of like the, pre the permafrost orange where it's got a white damaged on one side um, then you got your mats um, you know a lot of those beads are versions of that you know uh, we use egg cures too like a lot of my product I go as far as looking at what egg cures do in the water when they're milking out and I will build beads like you know my permafrost my uh, mat uh, blood Blood Money Mat is kind of like a milked out version of a of a Procure uh, Red Hot Double Stuff, for that matter. It's what it looks like when it milks out. Um, so those are keys to matching the hatch. I mean, you, you got guys fishing eggs, so they're they're adding to a different different color egg rolling down across the bottom than a spawning fish. Um, so that's why all these different versions of beads are are effective. Um, plus, if you think about it, one of the biggest hatches on the entire river system that happens are 40 boats going down river fishing beads. These boats are all fishing different colors, and this is kind of like a mock uh, hatch at that point. The fish are seeing all these different beads roll down through there, different colors, and so they start keying, on, keying in on it like it's a hatch. And I think it creates excitement and why one reason beads are so effective now that everybody's, you know, really fishing beads a lot. It's like it, it's kind of like we got a, a hatch year round of something, even when there's not a lot of fish spawning in the, in the system, you know, in those in between periods. There's still eggs rolling around because guys are fishing beads. So, you know, it's like that's why certain river systems, you know, have uh, they certain colors seem to work better over here, over here, you know, and it's, I swear, it's more, the guys are throwing out color more, you know, and then you get a kind of an opposite bead color coming down there, and all of a sudden you have a stellar day, because it was something different than most of the guys are fishing. Um, so it's, kind of keep that in mind, you know, it's like, it's, it's really interesting if you think about it, um, you know, look at how many boats and how many people are casting bead rods, and they go through a hole, you know, you got 40 boats go through there, and those fish have seen 40 different things that look like an egg. So um, it kind of creates that false uh, match the hatch almost, you know. Um, so keep that in mind. Then, you know, different versions of size and in color. You know, you got big beads will work in, you know, that, those 16s will work in low clear water. Some some of those days, you know, it's, a, it's crazy that... You know, they key in on that or it's like, I don't know if it becomes a massive aggression bite, something different, kind of like a spinner. Um, they see those bigger beads and it, it goes after the more aggressive fish because a, a shy fish is going to shy away from it. They shy away from almost everything, you know, unless it's a smaller version. Um, so it kind of tar targets those aggressive fish, you know, and those competitive fish, you know, that could be one in a school that sees it first, you know, and it's going to, that's going to be the more aggressive fish taken off after your bait. Um, so, you know, um, a lot of times, like when I'm, when I'm rigging my rigs, I'll run a bigger bead up front, you know, than a, a smaller, you know, like, like a 16 and a, and a, you know, a 12 in the back as a dropper bead. Uh, most yarn balls, you know, that you run up front with a bead dropper are that 16, 18 mil size. So it's a, it's a pretty good size, uh, you know, um, profile and it's round, looks like an egg. So, you know. Those, those kind of fall under the match the hatch too, you know. Um, so just keep that in mind. You know, it's, an, it's uh, you know, big water. You know, big water, bigger beads. That's, that's fine and dandy, but you also got to figure that you're going to add more weight because those bigger beads are going to catch more, more current. So you got to keep them down in the, in the zone if you're going to use the bigger beads. Um, but, you know, a standard 16 mil in... 14, 16 mil will fish high water just as good as a big bead if you're keeping it in the zone, you know, and it's easier to keep in the zone and it doesn't get blown out and faster uh, pocket water, 
you know, and that's where like hard beads come in, come into play a lot too, is that that fast water that you can't really bobber dog, but you can use it like an inline with a, like a one ounce, you know, or one ounce dropper or a half ounce, you know, then some split on there with a hard bead. It'll get down in there and it'll fish that, that you can't, can't really bobber dog through it because you can't get it developed in those short little runs. But those, you know, the, the hard bead side will fish almost instant when it hits the water. And so, you know, don't limit yourself to, you know, just a soft bead or incognito, but you got to be versatile and fish those hard beads too, because I mean, it's a bead, it's going to get bit, you know, and it's all about, you know, usability of setting the hook, reeling into the fish. Um, so there is a big, there's a big gap out there if you're strictly fishing soft beads. Um, you know, the soft beads and the incognitos and hard beads all drop at different rates. So... And, you know, depending on your run, how long your drift is, there, there's a time and place for them all. And, uh, you know, the, one of the main reasons I created the Incognito is to have the fishability of a, of a hard bead with a soft cover. So when you're fishing and you got a, uh, like, Incognito or a hard bead, you're constantly fishing. You're not messing with that sliding down your stop. It's, it's there you're fishing. You set the hook, you know, you're not ripping it down to the hook. You're fishing, you're not missing that cast, you're in a drift boat, your clients are constantly casting, you know, they're not reeling in to fix a soft bead. That's the downside of a soft bead, and it sucks. But it's the truth, it's the nature of the beast. You know, you're gonna fish a hard bead or an incognito until you lose it. You're not gonna slide it down. It's, if you're using that firm peg stop, it's not gonna go anywhere, and you're gonna get bit just as good as anything else on the planet. You know, and it's just a matter of, you know, reeling into the fish. You know, you can't hook them all, but, you know, if you aren't casting because you're fishing a, a soft bead over here and you're, you know, you're fixing it and you should have casted there, that could have been that spot for the day that you caught a fish. And it's like, so you don't know, but the fishability of a product makes the difference in the amount of casts, the more, you know, a fish of a thousand casts. Well, that one cast could have been your fish for the day if when you were fixing your bead. So just keep that in mind, um, you know, and it's like, you know, and I, I'm just talking fishability, you know, it doesn't make them better or worse or anything else. It's just the fishability if you want to be the most efficient on your castings. And that's why I developed the incognito. At that point, you know, I'd rather, you know, it's like fish a hard bead if, if you're worried about it, you know what I'm saying? Or put a, put a bigger hard bead underneath your your soft bead so it cannot slide over that bead so you're still fishing that's the biggest thing about you know being productive and and giving yourself the most opportunities to catch fish so anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and uh then i'll do another one on on uh you know some rigging and whatnot okay guys tight lines randy lured lured by the lured guide service